Hi children. Today we are going to see exercise 1.4. Okay. I, in my previous video I explained you division of integers as well as properties of division. So today we are going to see exercise 1.4 which is based on division of integers and properties of division. Okay. Shall we do it now? The first question is fill in the blanks. So here we are going to do fill in the blanks now. So they have given four options. Shall we solve it now? So here minus 40 divided by x equal to 40. So now I am going to transfer this x to the other side and I am going to bring this 40 to this left hand side. So minus 40 divided by 40 equal to x. Okay. Now one time, one time. So x equal to 1. Different signs so minus. So my answer is minus 1. Okay. See the second one. 25 divided by x equal to minus 5. Same procedure I am going to follow here. So 25 divided by minus 5 equal to x. So x equal to, we can cancel these two numbers. So 1 5 is are 5, 5 5 is are 25. So 5 is my answer. So different sign minus. Okay. Next to sum. Third problem is x divided by minus 4 equal to 9. So here already we used one method. That is uh, if the operation is division means if we are bringing this one number to the other side means that division will change as multiplication. So x equal to 9 into minus 4. Shall we multiply it now? Okay 9 4 is 36 different signs so minus. So my answer is minus 36. Okay the last one is minus 62 divided by minus 62. Already you know 62 divided by 62 is 1. Same sign, so plus 1. So 1 is my answer. Okay, is it clear children? Second problem is true or false. Okay, so we have to find out whether this is equal. That is left hand side is equal to right hand side. If it is equal means we can say it is true. If it is not equal means we can say that it is false. Shall we try it now? So shall we find out the LHS first? So see, minus 30 divided by minus 6. What is the value here 1 6 are 6 5 6 are 30 so 5 is my answer okay but here same sign so we have to put plus but here the answer is given as minus 6 so we can write this as false right the second one minus 64 divided by minus 64 so minus 64 divided by minus 64 one time so 1 is my answer same sign so plus. Plus 1 is the answer but they have given it as 0. So this is also false. So now the third problem is find the value of the following. So here we have to find the value of the given numbers. Okay. So first one and third problem. First option and third option I will be doing. And second and fourth option you have to try it on your own. Okay. Same method only. You can try it on your own. Is it clear? So now minus 75 divided by 5. This we can write it as minus 75 divided by 5. Both are same. Okay. Here division symbol uh, has been written. But here I am writing like this. Okay. Divided by like this. In the fraction form I have written here. Sorry. This is 5. Am I correct? Yes. So 5 and 75. We can cancel it using 5 table. Am I correct? So 1 5 is 5. Here, while cancelling, we can take this 7 first. So, uh, how many times 7 will come in some 5 table? 7 will not come. But uh, below 7, which number will come? 5 will come. Okay. How many times? 1 time. So, 1, 5 are 5. Here we have balance 2. So, this 2 will be added here. Now, we have 25. How many times 20, 25 will come in 5 table? 5 times. 5, 5 are 25. So, 5. So, my answer is 15. Here, different sign. So, I have mentioned minus. So, my answer is minus 15. Is it clear? So, shall we go for the next problem? Yes. So, 45 divided by minus 9. Okay. You know that in 9 table, 45 will come. How many times? Yes. 1 nines are 9. 5 nines are 45. So, my answer is 5. But here... Different sign, so I am mentioning minus. Okay, is it clear? You can try the other two problems on your own. Okay, now the fourth problem is the product of two integers is minus 135. 
If one number is minus 15, find the other number. This is the question. So, the, given that the product of two integers is given as minus 135. Okay, they have given um, this number in your question itself. So, the product of two integers is equal to minus 135. Okay, one of them is given as minus 15. Product means multiplication. While multiplying two numbers, the answer is minus 135. And one number is minus 15. Find the other number. That is the question. Okay. So now, minus 15 into x. This is the uh, question they have given. We are multiplying two numbers. And the answer is minus 135. But one number is minus 15. Find the other number. So, in your question, your question, I have uh, concluded that question as an uh, equation. Okay. Here, 15 into some number is minus 135. That is our question, right? So we have to find out the uh, value for x. So, I am keeping this x, okay, as it is. And here, we have the operation multiplication. So, I told you, whenever we have multiplication on the on one side means, if we are taking the same number to the other side means, we have to write it in division, okay? So, now I have written the same thing. So, x equal to minus 135 divided by minus 15, Okay, I found out that 15 into 9, okay, if you know 15 table means you can directly say that 15 nines are 135, okay. So, I have found out that 15 into 9 is 135, so I have cancelled 115 are 15, 9 15 are 135, so my answer is 9, same sign, so I have written plus. So, the value of x is plus 9, finally you have to write the result as the other number is 9, okay. So, now. Fifth problem. So, let me read out the problem. In 8 hours duration with uniform decrease in temperature, the temperature dropped 24 degree. How many degrees did the temperature drop each hour? Okay. So, in the problem, with uniform decrease in temperature. The temperature every decrease is uniform. Or decrease. So, in 8 hours, the temperature dropped to 24 degree. Okay, so we have to find in one hour how many degrees it will drop. Okay, wow. so in a eight hours, 24 degrees drop. We have to find out how many degrees it will drop for one hour. We have to find out. So I have written eight hours, the drop in temperature is 24. Okay, in one hour, the drop in temperature, how we have to find out? We have to divide 24 by 8. So I am dividing 24 by 8. So 1 8s are 8, 3 8s are 24. So my answer is 3. Finally, you have to write the result as the temperature dropped 3 degree per hour. Okay, per hour, that is for 1 hour, it is reducing 3 degree. That is your answer. Now, sixth question. An elevator descends into a mine shaft of the rate of 5 meter per minute. If the descent starts from 15 meter above the ground level, how long will it take to reach minus 250 meter? Okay. Here they mentioned that the elevator starts from 15 meter above the ground level and it should reach 250 meter below ground level. Is it clear? Minus 250 means below ground level. So I have mentioned uh, the distance traveled by the elevator using one simple diagram. So in here in the travel part that the elevator travels from 15 meter above the ground level. So in the part plus this part. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to calculate totally minus 250 and we have to subtract minus 250, that is 250 from 15. Okay, so I am subtracting using this format. So I have written the elevator position is 15 meter above ground level. So it is plus 15. Okay, now it should reach minus 250 meter. Okay, now so the distance to be traveled is this distance minus of minus this. Okay, minus of this 250. So, I am subtracting minus of minus 250 is plus 250. So, 15 plus 250 is 265 meter. So, total distance covered by the elevator is 265 meter. They told us that the time taken to descend is 5 minutes for 1 meter. 1 meter is 5 minutes. So, we have to find out for 265 meter. So, 265 divided by 5 we have to find out. So, while uh, cancelling, see 1 5 is 5. 5, 5 is 25. Okay. So, here 1 will be balanced. So, 15, 3, 5 is 15. So, my answer is 53 minutes. So now, the seventh problem is a person lost 4,800 calories in 30 days. If the calorie loss is 
uniform, calculate the loss of calorie per day. Already we have done one problem like this. So in the problem, fifth problem. Okay, eight hours duration na uniform decrease agad. How many uh, degrees decrease agad? Twenty four degrees. So we just divide twenty. Uh, 4 divided by 8. The same method we are going to use. So here a person lost 4800 calories in 30 days. So if we are dividing 4800 divided by 30 means we can calculate the uh, redu reduction in calorie that is loss of calorie per day. One day ke nama Okay. You can do it on your own. So this seventh problem you have to try it. Okay. Now I am going to explain you the eighth problem. So eighth problem the question is given. 168 into 32 is equal to 5,376. Then find minus 5,376 divided by minus 32. Okay. So here, see, they have given the question 168 into 32 is equal to 5,376. They have given. So now I am interchanging. That is taking this 32 to the other side. And I am saying 168 is equal to 5,376 divided by 32. Is it correct? Yes. Uh, I am taking this one uh, 32 and I am taking this uh, one that is 32 to the other side. This multiplication symbol will change as division. So already I told you the same thing I have done here. So what is the question is minus 5376 divided by minus 32. This is same as this number. Am I correct? So same sign so plus will come. If we are dividing means we will get the answer as 168. So we can say the answer as 168. Is it clear? So using this we are finding out the value for this term. Okay. Here plus 5376 divided by plus 32. Here minus 5376 divided by minus 32. Both are same. Okay. Minus by minus. This minus will get cancelled. Okay. Otherwise we can say same sign means plus. Okay. So now we have written the answer directly. Now the ninth problem is how many minus this box are there in minus 20. Now we can take this box here this square box has how many sides? 4 sides. So I am writing this uh, box as 4. So number of minus 4 in minus 20. How we can find out? We can divide these two numbers. So minus 20 divided by minus 4. So I am cancelling it. 1 4 are 4. 5 4 are 20. So 5 same sign plus. So plus 5. How many boxes are there in minus 20? 5 boxes we can uh, draw. Right. So the 10th problem is. Minus 400 divided into 10 equal parts. Okay, already they have given 10 equal parts. We have to divide. So now I am dividing minus 400 by 10. So I am cancelling one zero with zero. My answer is 40. So uh, different sign minus. So minus 40. Is it clear? So our exercise 1.4 is over. Okay, just go through this problems and you can try all the problems as home test. Is it clear? Thank you.